an aircraft is flying away from the station so even for the exam I would recommend you to note a basic points down on your rough sheet just just note it down so you won't go wrong aircraft is uh, flying away from station with 10 degrees starboard drift so why is this drift given in these questions what is the requirement of drift just to confuse no that is used to find why, why, why for what do you use drift in the last question uh, was it a uh, unnecessary kind of a vestigial uh, parameter that you did not use in the previous question 10 degrees of starboard drift because they wanted us to find out the track on yes. the radial by us. that is the only way we can find the find the track of the aircraft remember we had to assume the track in the previous question as 90 because there was no drift nothing was given we had to assume it but here this is given to find the track but only to find the track okay uh, the heading is 330 degrees what is the OBS OBS 180 it's again 180 so you are based questions usually they won't mark as a degrees true or magnetic it's degrees magnetic you have to we have to understand that radial OBS it's all degrees magnetic yes find the ADF reading if both NDB and VOR are co-located there's a co-location here NDB VOR you have to find out the ADF reading let's find all the readings not just ADF let's also find the uh, V because see the, the question also has the previous questions to be considered which is given about CDI two from flag type of sensing you have to find that in addition to that you also have to find out the ADF indication I'll give you some time and then you can come back with the answers Yes, yes, so you can just walk me through this question very quickly and see. With a 10 degree turbo drift, we get a track of 340. And what track is that? Track of the aircraft. Right? Track of the so aircraft. 10 degree starboard me drift means the track made good by the aircraft is 10 degrees to starboard or right of 330 of the heading, which means it is 3, 4 which degrees. Which is the radial degrees magnetic is the track of the aircraft now since you are moving away from the station the track of the aircraft is equal to the radial of the aircraft it is exactly the same that is because you are moving away right we saw in the previous question the other way around so let's now draw the situation here this is the VOR what is the OBS radial 180 180 is the OBS radial here 180 degrees this is the front side, the head side of the radial, this is the tail side of the radial. And where is the aircraft? The aircraft is on a track of 340. How will you draw a track of 340? This is 180, therefore this is 360. Therefore track of 340 is in this direction. This is the uh, 340 degrees uh, track of the aircraft. And what is the heading of the aircraft? The heading of the aircraft is 330. This is 340, therefore heading is like this. Now where should I place the aircraft on this track of 340? 340 on the 340 side. Exactly. So this is, this is 340 to the station. This is 340 from the station. Uh, and therefore the aircraft so is moving yep. away. Yeah. Therefore yep. the aircraft away has to from be here. That's right. Yes. So let's place the aircraft here on a heading of 330 degrees. Perfect. Uh, and you can very see measure from the heading towards starboard uh, is the drift of 10 degrees that's right here all right now uh, the obs is one age zero. let's see all the indications here where is the uh, what is the uh, track of the aircraft track of the aircraft is three four zero degrees radial of aircraft you can see that the aircraft is moving away and since you're moving away your track itself is radial and the radial is 340 which is same as your track we have seen this in the in the previous question why it happens and what is the flag on a cdi vor cdi what's the flag so we are going away from the station yes uh, we are on the tail because the OBS really setting matter? is uh, yeah. 180. Yeah, be very careful. So we are on the... Do not really think about whether you are moving away or moving towards the station when you are thinking about flag. It has nothing to do with your flag. It has to do with your sensing but not with your flag. 
right? So to find the flag, just draw the perpendicular radius here, identify the head on the front side and tail on the two sides. So what side is this? This is uh, the head side. Head side, the arrow side, the so front. front side. Yes, and this is the? Two side. Tail side tail of the two side. side. Where is the aircraft? It's on the two side. Two so side. irrespective of whether you're coming to the station or you're moving away from the station, the flag is simply going to be two. Is this very clear, this part? Yes. Sure. All right. Now, if you want to know what the sensing is, now you have to consider whether am I coming to the station or away from the station. So let's see the sensing here. So the trick here is, since I'm on the two side, if I'm moving to the station, it's going to be forward sensing. And if I'm going from the station, it's going to be reverse sensing. Right? I'm on the two side, and what is happening to the aircraft? It's not homing. It's moving from the station. Oh. Therefore, on the two side, moving from the station, and therefore, what sensing is it? Reverse sensing. Reverse sensing. Now you can see what the OBS is. OBS is 180. You have the flag, you have the sensing. Only these three information is required to draw the uh, CDI, VOR CDI. Uh, nothing else is required. Let's draw that. We've written the five dot system here. What is the OBS? OBS 180. 180. Desired radial. Five dot system, the center, the, side, the edge of the center circle is the first dot, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Five dot system. What about the flag? So it's a reverse, uh, okay, so it's a two flag. Two flag, so which is the two flag here? Upper one. Upper one, yes. Now, where should I draw the uh, needle, CDI needle? So, if the desired OBS is uh, desired radial is 180. Uh, it is command it was full right scale reflection, but it will be a full left scale in this case. That's right. I have to go like this to send the needle, but since it is reverse sensing, it will ask me to fly um, full left. Left, right? Yes, fly left. Why is it full left? Because more than 10 degrees. Yeah, what is the angle? This angle this is 340, this is 360. 20. 20 degrees is more than 10, so it's going to get stuck at the furthermost position. Right? Now, you see you see the problem here. I'm moving out I of a station. I understand that. That's fine. All right. Yeah, so um, I'm moving from the station. In that case, yeah, if, I, if I OBS 180, you see the problem here? I'm getting a reverse sensing, which means I can still fly the aircraft properly if I can understand that it's a reverse sensing and maneuver exactly opposite to what the instrument says. What are the easiest way to do in such cases is to make this into a command sensing. So how will, how can I convert this to a command sensing? We can uh, either change the desired instead of one eight zero, we can. May put it to 360. That's the only thing which we can do. I have to now OBS 360 and when I OBS 360, I have to fly right and it's going to give me the same thing, fly right indication. What other change is going to happen? I, I mean, I don't have seen the command sensing thing, but I'm just thinking like, how would I know if it is a command sensing? Uh, or reverse sensing. If it is reverse sensing. So what? Uh, I know so it. I'm flying the aircraft. Sorry. What? What are the radial I have OBS? I have, I'm OBSing 180, which is going in that way, and I'm moving in that direction. It has to be a reverse sensing. What flag is it? My two flag. What am I doing? You're flying away. Yeah, that's it. So reverse sensing. So I have to look at the needle, okay, fly left, fly right. Indications fly left, I have to fly right. Now if I want, if I want to make it a command sensing, what am I doing? I'm moving away from the station. What is the flag showing to? How can I make the flag also show from? By OBSing exactly the opposite okay. radial. So when I make it 360, not just that the needle is going to be exactly in the opposite direction making it a command sensing, the flag is also going to swap. Make sense? Right? Perfect, that's it. What if my aircraft had RMI as a VOR indicator? What is it? It's been, see, when I tell you, the, uh, we have an ADF uh, on board. The ADF is always for uh, an NDB. 
So if you want, yeah. if you have an ADF here, yeah, there should be an NBB here. If they specifically tell you that it is an RMI, that's mostly the VOR RMI. And I, as I've told you in the theory earlier, if you remember, what the NDF, NDB RMI, the ADF RMI, and what the VOR RMI indicates is the same. It's going to indicate the QDM, but how it measures that is different. You remember that? Yes. Yes. Perfect. All right. So if, yeah. yeah. So in case of an NDB, it measures the phase difference and turns the needle by an amount equal to relative bearing, puts the heading on the dial, and you automatically get the QDM. But in case of VOR, that's not the case. In case of VOR, it determines the radial, which is the QDR. And, and depending upon whether you're moving towards or from the station, it's going to indicate you the QDM uh, by, by adding it's, one it's HDD. Basically showing the same thing, but it's calculating yeah, the, in a different, it's a different way. way. Exactly. But how would I know if it's a... If it's an uh, yeah, RBI, ADF. RMI, it's about an ADF there. So the question also, when you see ADF RMI, it's always looking at an NDB, not an VOR. No, but the cockpit. It's uh, been printed there, ADF. Okay. In case, of, in case of RMI, it's been written VOR there. So it's a VOR RMI. If it, if it is a VOR RMI. Yeah, that's right. If it's an NDB RMI, it's been written ADF there. Right? Yes. So let's see what is the head of the RMI. This is the RMI. Head will be zero. For an RMI. RMI will indicate heading. Heading. Yes. So what is the heading? Three three zero. Three three zero degrees. Center of the dial is the aircraft. Yes. And what is going to be? What is the QDM here? What is RMI indicating? QDM RMI is indicates QDM. Yeah. What's the QDM? QDM is one six zero. That's right. So it's one, how do you find QDM? This is the 340 QDR. Now QDM is exactly opposite to it, and that is uh, uh, minus 180, which is uh, 160. Magnetic track to a station. Where is 160? What is exactly opposite here? If this is 330, what will be here? So it's 330 minus 180. So minus 200 is 130. 150. Yes, it's 13 off from 360 that gets added to one. Um, so that goes off from 180, which is 150. Where did you place uh, 160 now? I placed it uh, 180 degrees. 180 degrees. That is why I asked you to um, mark the exact opposite one. So, what, what does the tail of an RMI indicate? The tail of an RMI indicates the radial, which is a QDR. Yeah. Right? So, uh, this is what the RMI will show. Uh, so, head of the RMI is uh, showing QDM, and you can see tail of the RMI is going to show you 340, and 340 is your radial, or which is the QDR. So, this is, a, this is going to be 340, which is the radial, or the QDR, and this is the QDM. Perfect. Yes, what about HSI? HSI is a CDI taken and we incorporate heading onto CDI and you get HSI. So let's draw a dial again. And what is the heading of the HSI? Heading on HSI, HSI 330. 330. Now what we do is we take the CDI straight and we orient the CDI in such a way that the uh, if with respect to 180 degree but now on this dial so where can I find 180 degree on this dial so we know what this is 330 this is going to be 150 so where is 180 so to the left 30 degrees somewhere here 30 degrees to the left 180 is somewhere here I'm taking the same thing here and I'm just placing it straight all the way such a way that uh, it's 180 is aligned here so let's draw that here this is the the center of the dial of the aircraft. We have, uh, you see, in case of HSI, there are two different systems. In case of uh, CDI, it is five and four dot. In case of case of HSI, what are the systems we have? What dot system do we have? We don't have a four dot system there. We have a five and two dot system. Maximum full scale deflection is still ten degrees. In a five dot system, every dot is two degrees. In a two dot system, every dot will be five degrees. 
that's all right let's draw a fire alarm system here it's one two three four five one two three four five all right yes now um why did we draw the dots yeah, dots will be in the, uh, with respect to 1.8, there is respect to OBS radial, it's going to be perpendicular. Perpendicular. The aircraft is simply pointing in the direction of heading, the nose is always in the direction of heading. Right? This is the best representation, but it's a bit confusing as compared to that, that's all. Right? Yes, now how will you draw the um, CDI needle? So I'm taking it, I'm placing it straight here. So I'm taking it, so it comes and I'm it on the other side. Yeah, it comes here. Right? Yes. And what about the flag? What flag is it? Flag is the same. Flag is not going to change because as long as you're going to change this one. And your radial is not going to change. So uh, yeah. the flag is a is a two flag. And how will you mark two flag here? Two flag is always two one eighty degrees to the to the side. So it is basically two flag. If it is a front flag, you would have seen something of this sort highlighted. Exactly opposite to it. We can just think about an arrow mark pointing towards the OBS as a two and away from the OBS one as front. That's it's exactly the same thing that will happen here. But there's no difference here. It's just taken the same. And I've just Pos uh, switch the position from is not reverse anything, right? Ah, no. Exercise because the thing is you are incorporating the heading into the dial and therefore the sensing thing gets cancelled. Now you can see that I have to fly right. So what what's an, to bring some radial here, right? I just simply have to fly mm -hmm. right. That is easier for me. All the way. Right? Yeah. So it's easier. Only because we are cancelling that confusion by incorporating the heading. You can draw all this if you haven't. RMI, CDI. Okay. And in this particular question, they are saying that your VOR is co-located with what? NDB. With an NDB. There's a co-location there of an NDB as well. Because this is a VOR NDB co-location. And therefore, you're asked to find out the ADF indication where the ADF is going to be an RBI or an RMI. So we'll take it as an RBI here because nothing else is mentioned. And how now this is your part, you can tell me what the ADF would indicate. Yeah, so it will be one. Uh, so, yeah, it is more 10 degrees starboard trip, so yeah. going away from the station. Exactly. So it's 190. 180 plus. Uh, starboard drift because you're moving away it's 180 and therefore it's 180. You can you can see here that this angle is basically how much? 33034 so it's 10 degrees. This angle is also 10 degrees. Opposite to 330 all the way what is it here? What is it? Uh, what is the head what is the head of the uh, so this is zero. Is zero. Zero all the way. 180, 180 and the tail. 10. Yes. And 180. 10 yeah. Perfect. If it is an uh, we are ND, NDB, uh, ADF, RMI is going to exactly show the same thing. There's no difference. This is what I've taken is RBI here, which is going to indicate 190. 